Uruko mini Musa Kaladima. Batimo alo mode kinto malo sisku. Mo shishe ishe malu. Mo wani odun me me wangu ana. Mo fumi malu meta akoka. Nimba mo sisfi school mo jade school mo wani timo dele mo bakwe mo tibi ma mo tibi ma mo tibi ma mo tipo mo je. Ogoji Atimewa Nisi. For generations, Fulani herders have reared their cattle in this beautiful land. This is the lush expanse of Fashola in Nigeria's Oyo state, where we've come to witness the convergence of modernity and traditional practice, and how an entire landscape is being changed as subsistence is being replaced with opportunity through a unique dairy development program. Bubu bita wambi family wana ni bubu inka tashi shembi ni upe a ni sheka kanga ni shema luf. My name is Lawrence Owe Negbenose, and my role is to develop the local dairy industry in Nigeria. Our focus on campaign and DDP is dairy development, and the idea is to engage the local farmers to supply raw milk to a facility in Lagos. It's hard to believe, but to date Nigeria has been importing most of its dairy raw materials. Now an entire homegrown industry is being built with farmers such as Musa Galadima. With his increased income, he's now bought a motorbike and needs to get to the Dairy Development Program's milk collection center by 9 a.m. sharp to make his money for the day. We have these farmers that are Fulanese. They are traditionally cow owners, they are traditionally cow herders, they have some experience in how to manage cows. The essence of the program is training farmers to produce better quality milk and higher yields. It takes place under the trees next to the collection center. <laughs> So I got a bonus Then I got a two I Gabadaya. What I've seen that made me happy is that when we started, the Fulani milk producers are at the low level of production. Then the quality was very bad. Through a series of training and development, we brought them to the level they have now. For instance, Musa can boast of having quality meat that is far better than what they had some years back and they have more quantity of meat to deliver. And that means more money to them. I think the challenge with milk is to make sure you provide good quality product because milk is a perishable commodity uh, and the quality can deteriorate very rapidly. And this is where our 140 years of experience as a parent company comes in to provide the right technology, the right training, the right breeds, the right facilities for farmers to make sure that from the grass to the glass, that quality is maintained throughout. The milk is cooled and tested at a local bulking centre before it travels the 200 kilometre journey to Lagos in a refrigerated tanker. Just a few years ago, this type of infrastructure was unheard of in these regions. Okay, Lisa, this is a Priestland Campina Wamco, Nigerian PLC, where we produce all products. And if you look at that, you can see this is a fresh milk tank. This is where the milk has been discharged, after which we we'll take it in. You hear the noise? So things are really happening. So let's go in. We employ over 2,000 people directly and approximately 30,000 people indirectly. We're the market leader in dairy. We've been operating in the country for 60 years. 
and at this facility we produce almost all of Nigeria's requirements in dairy which is essentially evaporated milk, milk powder and flavored milk powder in all sorts of pack sizes and flavors. Almost all dairy raw materials are imported. But based on the drive of the government, based on our need to have a sustainable production and marketing effort in Nigeria, we needed to go into the development. And the target for us was to achieve about 10% local sourcing in 5-6 years. Now we are doing about less than 3%, which means we still have a long way to go, but it's possible. Dairy farming is not something that happens overnight. You need to start small, you need to build it day by day. So it's been four years that we've been working with uh, various partners, both the government as well as other private sector organizations. The campaign Wanko, producing the milk, we are marketers of dairy products. We now have the government supporting us in infrastructure development. And we now have two scale helping the farmers to mobilize their building capacities and ensuring that they're able to supply what we want. What we want is quality milk that can meet the demand at the right price. Two-scale project is partnership with DDP to support farmers in crossbreeding, testing control, training and organizing farmers in and around the milk collection centers. For a company like Crescent Campina, to come down to buy milk from a farmer that supplies 5 liters, 2 liters, 3 liters. This is enormous, this is fantastic. So their competitive business strategy is working. So if you are a farmer, 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 Eight amari be two liter, so oti lesi nisi. Eight amari be two liter, amari four, amari many, amari manu. I'm a veterinary surgeon. I make sure that the animals are in good health. I consult to the farmers, advise them on the best practices. I can't do it, man. Da, I want to know what I'm going to see one Ben UP, Kimu two day, Ani, I want to know about two year on to go nesting. I want Yangwa, what a Moody series, Ugo, what a Baba Pito Juera. Timosi Wa wo Idamuta face. During the dry season, they usually have very, very low volume because the food is not available. Because of that, we provided solar power bowl for them, for the cows to get water. Then we train them also in feed supplementation. They also learn about pasture development. We also support them in improving their yield, their breed of cows. Yes. Okay. What of the issue of crossbreeding, insemination? How far, how far have they gone with you? Yes. We are the local cows here, yeah. they give about one liter of milk per day, which is grossly insufficient and not efficient. But what we know that it's possible that we have in other countries to get cows that give 30 to 40 liters per day. So for us to be productive and have the right price quality level, we need to support them in bringing them across their, their bridge to move them to a level where they are able to give us between 8 to 10 liters minimum. What I love about Musa is that he, he easily accepts what we came with. He's an enterprising young man. We want to encourage young dairy farmers into dairy farming. We want to develop local sustainable farming. And we've done this now in several countries across the world and Nigeria is actually no exception. In fact, I think Nigeria probably offers one of the biggest opportunities because with a population of over 180 million mouths to feed, I think there is a, a great need to develop uh, agricultural self-sufficiency. great visiting Oyo State to see the way in which a manufacturer is partnering to develop the lives and the businesses of its local small-scale farmer suppliers, providing Nigeria with quality dairy nutrition through markets like these in Lagos and other outlets. 
It's about sustainability, it's about inclusivity for the benefit of everybody. Kesi bumbu wala nimbaik nisi emega gamuni tite mi furara ame timu lo timu sinjai mi bosi wumi. The job put smiles in my face when I see people that don't have means of livelihood and now they are living better lives. Each day I see their life is being affected in a positive way. It's beautiful to see Musa and many other people uh, really get the benefits of this inclusive growth. And it's about providing the elements to nurture the business and not necessarily spoon feeding or hand holding. When that happens, we are faced with a situation of more inclusive, sustainable growth. We are looking at changing people's lives at the very basic level. And we're looking at the whole concept of transformation of economies. They have more money, they are building new houses, life has changed. So it has been so impactful that now we have a surge in the people that want to join DDP. Now we have about 900 farmers. Our plan, however, is to go to 3,000 in the next two, three years. I think Africa is rich in natural resources, in human resources, and I think the opportunity is for organizations like ours, other private sector organizations, in partnership with the public sector, to provide the facilities to unlock that potential and make Africa what it is truly capable of. So, Lori, So, Dada, que se